Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. For you, might have feel there is grace today. Hey, oh, 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 there is healing, deliverance, freedom from hoods of Satan. Case, yes, so bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Walk a wine, be ya. Mutu mata so. Baba, ya, ya. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All the shame you will run away. Oh, oh, oh. GCK Gospel to every creature Praise the Lord My miracle is here My miracle is here Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Any part of your body that's not functioning well, you have pain, you have sickness, you have impotence, whatever. Lay your hand where you have that challenge. And then raise up the other hand, and as we pray, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, for the mighty spoken word, healing will come to you there. My healing will come to me here. and sees, paving a way for the blind to not only feel but see and bask in the wonders of God's creation. Some others to leap for joy from healing and climb the highest mountains with their feet. The news of this impactful movement cuts across diverse age groups, youths, adults, children, nobody being exempted from the move. It is a widespread movement to villages, towns, states, nations, continents. They are learning at the feet of Jesus through one man, a teacher of the word, given to service and sacrifice for the Most High. And now, here comes a season where time turns its hand and leads the movement into a city rich with wildlife and nature, with the servant of God ordained God to prepare the way. In Zambia, at this time, for something great. In view of this, Lusaka, Zambia, is experiencing of the miracles God is raining down. The movement is the GCK, the Global Crusade with Kumuyi. It is a season where we encounter God's divine power. We are a testament to the faithfulness of God.
Praise the Lord. My miracle is here. My miracle is here. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Any part of your body that's not functioning well, you have pain, you have sickness, you have impotence, whatever. Lay your hand where you have that challenge. And then raise up the other hand. And as we pray, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, for the mighty spoken word, healing will come to you there. My healing will come to me here. As a backsliding, that the Lord will restore backsliders. As many as knew the Lord, but they left the face as they set their feet here, the power of God will touch them. They will be restored. All hardened hearts will be broken. The Lord will do his work in every life tonight. Your miracle is on the way. Your miracle is on the way. Let's talk to the Lord and say, Lord, it is my turn. It's my turn tonight to receive my miracle. Others have received I will receive my miracle tonight. Others have received. It is my turn. It is my turn. And it is my time. Lord, it is my turn. And this is my time. I will never let you go. I will not let you go unless I receive my miracle tonight. I will not let you go unless I receive my miracle. And the miracle is yours. You will receive your miracle. Let's pray. And ask that the Lord will do greater things tonight. He will touch our lives. He will touch every soul. He will reveal his will, his way to every soul. 
you are joining us we want you to join us in praying Tonight is my night of encounter, divine encounter. He will touch you. He will touch me. We will see the manifestation of his power tonight. We will see the manifestation of his power tonight. We are praying. As you join us, please close your eyes and join us to pray. And like we have said, there is hope for a praying man. Even what you have come here for, Through prayer, you will receive. Here am I, Lord. I'm available. Here am I, Lord. I submit. Let's talk to the Lord and say, Lord, here am I. I am ready to do your will. I am ready to do your will. Our God is faithful. He has never failed and he will fulfill his promises towards every one of us tonight. And tonight the enemy will submit. Tonight, whatever has been hindering your progress, the Lord will take away. Tonight, whatever has brought the yoke and calamity, Tonight, around
Father, we thank you for another night. We are grateful for how you visited us yesterday. Tonight, Lord, we are praying we will receive greater encounter from above in Jesus' name. Even as we begin, Holy Spirit, begin with us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. It is the second day of the divine encounter with our Lord Jesus. So we just want to praise Him. So for those of us who can stand, let us stand because we want to worship and praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There is none holy as the Lord. So right now, we want to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to worship Him and praise Him once more through choruses. So let us sing with strength.
scrub together. We pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we rise up on our feet as we take our congregational hymn? A new name in glory. I was once a sinner. Page three, please, of our program sheet. I was once a sinner, but I came, pardoned to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that he always kept his word. I was humbly kneeling at the cross, fearing not but God's angry frown. When the heavens opened, and I saw that my name was written down. In the book, it is written, saved by grace, 
or the joy that came to my soul. Now I am forgiven. And I know by the blood I am made whole. There is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. And the white robed angels sing the story. A sinner has come home. For there is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven. Never more to roam.
divine standing, as we we'll be going into the time of the intercessory prayers, as we we'll be praying for the nations. And um, this is the day two of GCK, uh, entitled Divine Encounter with the God of Miracles. God is doing miracles. We thank God for how he has uh, done a, a lot of miracles yesterday. And today we're expecting more miracles, double portion. Somebody say double portion. We just want to take this time to first of all thank the Almighty God for what he has been doing throughout the GCK. Even as we started yesterday, let us bless his holy name. Let us lift our voices unto the Lord and say, Lord, we thank you. You are a mighty God. You are a great God. There is no God like unto thee. Lift your voices. Let me hear you lift the voice of the name of the Lord and bless his name for his wondrous works, for all that he has done. He is a mighty God, the God of miracles. Today and even for the rest of the days, there is a promise by the Lord to have an encounter with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless his name. Bless his holy name in the name of Jesus. He's a mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name of praise. Amen. The louder the amen, the better. I just want us to look at Psalm 24, verse 1, before we continue to pray. It says, Psalm 24, Psalm chapter 24, verse 1. It says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. God is the owner of the whole universe. As we are going to pray, I want to pray for nations that are encountering grave economic crisis, that has been hit by heavy financial debts, that God will intervene in those nations, that God will see them through. Let us pray. Rise up, rise up. It's time to pray, to lift those nations into the hands of the Lord, that the Lord indeed will see them through. The Lord who, go, who said in his word that I, I, the, the silver and gold is mine will look at those nations, provide for those nations in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Pray, pray, pray for those nations. Intercede with all of your heart, with all of your faith and believe that God will see them through. That uh, the poverty will be eradicated, that indeed there will be provision from above in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Amen. Your amen is becoming better. We still continue to pray. We want to lift the nations of the world that will experience the mighty salvation. That will be a mighty salvation movement of God to save souls across all the nations. But before we go there, let's look at Second Peter. 2 Peter chapter 3, we are looking at verse 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, to us what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Not the word, all should come to repentance. It's the will of God. For all men of the world, in every nation to be saved, pray for them. Let us lift our voices unto the Lord and say, The God who has been patient with many people, and now they are saved, that the Lord will have patience on those who are not yet saved. Pray, pray for every nation, every nation in the world, that all souls will be delivered. All souls will come to the true knowledge of Jesus Christ. That all souls will come to repentance. That all souls will acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ and know him as the only Savior, that all nations will look unto the only God we can save. There are many gods, but there's only one God we can save. Pray that all kinds of sinners will turn to the Almighty God. Pray that even the religious sinners will come to the Almighty God, to the salvation that Jesus Christ shed his blood for. Pray and lift your voices unto the Lord. And the Lord will give them an encounter. They'll have an encounter of salvation with the Lord. And they'll come to the true salvation and the true acknowledgement of the saving power of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Amen. At this time, I'm going to present 
the convener of the GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, into the hands of the Lord, the man that God has been using to speak and send the message across the world to the nations, the man that God has appointed and anointed at this hour, the man of the hour, let us pray that indeed the Lord will release his mighty anointing upon him. Pray the mighty anointing upon his life, the anointing upon his life that is unprecedented. Pray that indeed the anointing that I've never seen before will seen upon him to be able to do the mighty works of the Lord. Pray for him, lift the man of the Lord into the hands of the Lord, that the Lord will pour his mighty anointing upon him in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer, amen. We still continue to pray for him. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, Verse 1, he says, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you. Let us pray that even today, as we'll be ministering, that the word of the Lord will have a free course. That the Lord, the word of the Lord will run without hindrance, without obstacles. Pray for him. Let us pray. Don't be tired. Pray. Lift your voices unto the Lord. That today the word will have a free course. The, that the word of the Lord will have a penetrative effect into the heart of every soul. In the Alpha location and also in the social media and across all the platforms, via the television, via the radio, everywhere. At the sounding of his voice, that indeed the word of the Lord will have effect on upon every soul. It will have a free course. It will have a free course. Pray also for the ministers that will be ministering along with him. That indeed as they speak, the word will go with the power. The, Lord will go, the word will go with anointing. And it will go unhindered in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Spirit of the Lord. Pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Amen. Amen. In this crusade, Lusaka, Zambia, we are talking about divine encounter with the God of miracles. Your life will never be the same. Let us lift uh, all the souls across the world that all the participants will have that divine encounter with the God of miracles. It has started already and it is flowing across the nations. Pray that more people will have this encounter with the God of miracles. Pray, pray. Pray, you shall never be the same. Your family shall never be the same. Your relatives shall never be the same. Your nation shall never be the same. Pray for that divine encounter with the God of miracles. There will be that experience, deep experience with God. There will be that miraculous intervention of God in every life. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Let us thank the Lord because the Lord has answered our prayers. If you really believe that the Lord is ahead of your prayers, lift your voices now and praise Him. He is the mighty God and nothing is impossible for Him. Lift your voices and say, Lord, we thank you. Because today, today, in this day, day two of the crusade, I'm going to have an encounter with the God of miracles. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. We thank you, Lord, because you are the great God, the great I am, that nothing surpasses you. Father, we thank you for all these prayer points that you have tailored before you. And we know that you have started intervening in those nations. You have started intervening, Father, oh God, in those nations that are having economic crisis, that are having natural disasters, and we shall see your mighty hand of deliverance in Jesus' name. Oh God, we pray, oh God, for all the souls of the world, as they'll be listening via, through various social media platforms, through, oh God, even in the Alpha location, Lord, that, that indeed, Lord, they will experience you. They will experience your salvation. 
We pray also, Lord, for the convener of the GCK, Pastor Dr. Dalui F. Kumi, that indeed you will visit him also with a, in a mighty way, with a mighty anointing, unprecedented anointing in the name of Jesus. Alongside with the ministers, that the word will have a free course. We bless on him for everyone today. That indeed there will be a mighty experience with you, mighty encounter with the God of miracles. Thank you, Lord, because we know you've answered. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. The louder the amen, the better. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, you may have your seats. Thank you very much. And uh, welcome you to day two. This is the second night of this GCK Global Crusade with Kumuyi as we deal with the issue of divine encounter with the God of miracles. And your miracles will not meet you. It will catch up with you in Jesus' name. Give me a better amen. amen. I want a Lusaka Zambia amen. amen. God bless you. Uh, we have a number of dignitaries in our midst, and uh, I want to start by recognizing a few of them, and I will call others. Uh, we have with us the executive director of the Evangelical Fellowship of Zambia, Bishop Andrew Mwenda. If you don't mind, you wave to us so the people will see you, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. And we have uh, Bishop Kabunda. He is the chairman of the Lusaka Ministers Fellowship. He's uh, here with us, Bishop Kabunda. God bless you. I may not be, time will not allow me to call everybody one by one. All the ministers of the gospel from Evangelical Fellowship of Zambia, wherever you are, rise up and let the people uh, recognize you evangelical fellowship of zambia ministers of the gospel god bless you god bless you thank you very much you may have your seat do we we have some from uh, uh ccz if you are here please uh, rise up for recognition ccz Okay. This is okay. Uh, ICOS, ministers from ICOS. If you are here, okay. God bless you. And then we have our participants to this crusade from other continents. We have some from India. We met with them during the ministers conference please wave to the people for recognition god bless you our ministers from ethiopia please rise up where you are for recognition god bless you thank you very much and uh, we have our national overseers who are also present here from the southern africa uh, zone uh, the Deeper Life Bible Church National Overseers. Uh, please do rise up for recognition. Thank you very much. God bless you. We, we also have our... Their wives are here with us. Where are you? Please rise up for recognition, the wives of our National Overseers. Thank you very much. May I simply say the other ministers of, you may take your seats, other ministers of the gospel who are present here, uh, please rise up for recognition if you are here and have not mentioned your case. God bless you. Thank you very much. We appreciate men of God, bishops and apostles. Please uh, do take your seats. We have our ministers from the Philippines. Okay, they've already stood. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you. You are most welcome. You are 
going to have a divine encounter with the God of miracles. We thank the Lord. The crusade started yesterday and wonderful things took place and greater things are going to take place today. And uh, we had uh, in the morning ministers, church workers and professional conference at the Mulugushi International Center. Conference Center. This morning. This morning. The bishop, the chairman of Evangelical Fellowship of Zambia said it pained him that some people were not present because it was uncommon anointing, unusual anointing flowing at that conference center. And he felt it that people who should have been here to receive their portion were not present. That will not be your portion on Monday in Jesus' name. Give me a better amen. amen. So all church workers from across denominations of the Christian faith, and then all people who are professionals, it doesn't matter your faith, it doesn't matter what you believe. As long as you are a professional, you have something that qualifies you as a professional. You are expected at the KKICC conference center, that's at Mulungushi, you must not miss it. At the new wing, the main auditorium, that's where we are. That's where it will be happening. Eight o'clock in the morning on Monday, don't miss it. Something powerful is awaiting you. It's unusual anointing that will be flowing down to minister to the ministers of the gospel and the professionals and all the church workers. Please be present on Monday, the 25th of September. And then on Tuesday, that will be the grand finale of this ministers, church workers, and professional conference. That day, I promise you, if you are there, you will not go back the same. And that's the reason why you must make sure that you are present there. Now, tomorrow is the Impact Academy for young people. If you're under the age of 45, you can't afford to miss it. 45 and below, you can't afford to miss it. Here, tomorrow, at this Heroes Stadium, National Heroes Stadium, don't miss it. It's a time when our Father in the Lord pours out his heart and inspire young people. When you come, you will have a story to tell. I tell you that. Now, when we say those who are 45 years and below, you are talking about all those in the secondary school, they will be here. Your food will be provided you. And you can't afford to miss it. For a father in the Lord to share what he has been sharing with ministers who have now become professors, vice chancellors, and they've reached the apex of their calling and their profession because of the nudges he's been sharing with them. That's the reason why you just have to be present here. And if you know any young person in the high school, secondary school, bring them here. All those in the tertiary institution, universities, colleges, and all the others, those who have also graduated and they are working and they are in the industries, captains of industries, you are most welcome to come and join us. Now, when we say it's Impact Academy for young people, and if you're under the age of 45, you can't afford to miss it. I've never missed any of it myself. And uh, looking at me, you know that I'm more than 45. Eh? So I still participate. And I'm, I'm saying that all ministers, you come and learn how they minister to young people. Our Father in the Lord is young at heart. And you can bear me testimony. You can bear me witness that what I'm saying is true. When he preaches, you see that he's young at heart. Tomorrow, you come and see him minister to young people. And they will touch your life. You are not going to be the same again. 
o'clock in the morning, the program starts. Now we had a challenge today. Some people thought when we say 8 o'clock, we mean Zambian time or African time. As far as our Father in the Lord is concerned, there's no Zambian time, there's no African time, there's no Nigerian time, there's only one time. Zero eight hours in the morning, he gets started. That is zero six GMT. He gets started and the program starts. And uh, those who have been participating, you know that he's a man of his word. And when he speaks, God backs him up. Heaven will back up the word tomorrow in Jesus' name. Starting from this particular night, as he ministers to us, you are not going back the same again. Thank you very much. God bless you. And prepare to receive abundantly from the Lord. Thank you.
This is my lion's turn. This is my cherry And this is where you step in. This is my giant falling. This is my peace be still. Jesus, you never fail me. And I know you never will. This is my luscious comfort. This is my once was blind. This is my path of waters. Oh God, it's miracle time. It's miracle time. It's miracle time. I'm lifting my eyes to the one who does impossible things. It's miracle time. It's miracle time. I'm fixing my eyes on the one who does impossible things. It's miracle time.
Come with me. Good evening. My name is Toani Tokozani. I'm a medical doctor. Uh, she has a testimony, so let's listen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Sharon Bella from Woodlands Group of District Lusaka, Zambia. I want to thank God for what he has done for me through GCK. I was diagnosed with uh, rheumatic heart disease in 2016. This is a condition where the valves of the heart are destroyed. So since 2016, I've been living on uh, antibiotics. I was put on injections. My life has been dependent on injections since 2016. And this condition used to make me feel weak and very tired. And the other thing was that the pulse rate of my heart was very fast, as if it's someone who is just from running. Even if I'm just seated, I'll feel the, the pulse rate of my heart being uh, very fast. But I want to thank God because of what uh, he did for me during GCK June edition this year. During the June edition, the man of God, after preaching, said we should lay our hands where we have a problem. I laid my hand on my heart and raised the other hand. I believed God as the man of God was praying. After that prayer, the pause, which was very fast, stopped immediately. And then the for to go and do a checkup at the hospital. When I went at the hospital, they did the checkup, and I was told that everything was normal. And the report is here to confirm it. Praise the Lord! Thank you, man of God, for your ministration. So according to her report, it's a... Isiaka. Sometimes 2009, I was having pain in my abdomen. And I went to the hospital. I was told to go for tests. And they scanned my abdomen. The results came out. And I was told I had stone in my gallbladder. Gallbladder stone is formation of stone in the gallbladder. Gallbladder is just like a little cystic area around the liver that contains the bile. It's usually coming with excruciating pain. The pain became severe. I went to the hospital and test was carried out on me. I was told that even the stone in my gallbladder has increased in size. And the GCK was coming, December edition. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, while he was praying, he said, lay your hand where you have challenges. Place up your hand, you need a miracle, and lay your hand where you have the problem. I lay my hand on my stomach, and he prayed. After that prayer, I felt pain no more. I got home, told my wife, the pain is gone, because I've been billed for operation. And they told me to come for the operation, and I was told that I would pay 800000 But that morning, I decided to go for another test on my own, to go to a bigger lab. I did it. They gave me the result. The doctor said they cannot find any stone in my gallbladder anymore. That is how 13 years of gallbladder stone disappeared just at the prayer of Pastor W.F. Kumui. Praise the Lord. My name is Nicholas. On January 15, it was very, very hard for me to breathe and to sleep. So my daughter took me to the to test. This is a malaria typhus, which I went for the, uh, the treatment. Then I started feeling swell up. I see swell up all over my body. 
whole, every part of my body was just very, very big. They advised me to go to heart test, which I go to heart test. They say one part of my heart is working, the other side is not functioning well. Heart failure is a condition in which the heart does not function efficiently. And over time, we found out that their, their legs can be swelling. And not even the legs alone, all the body. It's important to have a way of managing effectively at the start, not prolonging the management. Because the, the more the time uh, that is wasted, the longer the effect on the, on the organs of the body. They described uh, some drugs for me. So at that time, the program, this program was just going on. The last day of the program, I said, oh God, I know today is the last day. Today will be my delivering day. I will be free from this sickness today. My name is Axi Nicholas, a wife to Mr. Nicholas. When the pastor wants to come up to pray for the church, he now called the people that are connected with radio, I connect. After the man of God pray, he said, we should lay our hand for where we have the problem. So I lay my hand on my heart. After the final amen, we left to the house. But the following morning, so I see that every part of my body is free. In fact, God did a wonderful thing. But first of all, used my touch to look at his leg. Everything was totally dried. So I don't feel anything again. Even the swallow leg, everything gone. So I keep going to glory. I was diagnosed with a post-rate cancer. And the uh, end of the day, I went to the hospital. I, I started treatment. And the whole thing happened, brought a shame and uh, problems in my life. Prostate cancer is one of the very dangerous cancers affecting men. Normally, from the age of 45 or 40, 45, the prostate will start enlarging. And if, if nothing happens, the person will develop what they call a lower urinary tract symptoms, what they call hesitancy, dribbling of urine, feeling of incomplete voiding, and, and the rest of them. For instance, I'm a driver. When I drive, at times, I wet myself. So this thing brought a shame and a disgrace in my life, I end of the day, I heard that uh, uh, Pastor Kumi is coming to Enugu, a divine touch. So I came in and believed that this time around is going to be my own turn. So the, after the administration, he said, wherever you have problems, lay your hand upon yourself. When he prayed, by the grace of God, that is all over. I went back to the hospital. They checked me. They said there's no post-ray cancer again. So yeah, this is me. And they can see me, a, a grandfather. The joy in my life is so beautiful. So God bless you all.
the Savior today, risking your soul for the things that decay. Or if today God should call it away, what would you give in exchange for your soul? The dear Savior still tenderly prayed Tonight your soul, it was precious indeed What would you give in exchange for your soul? 